I'm trying to start these videos with a picture of the item that I'm going to be talking about. And these are, I don't know if you can see that really clearly, Fiesta. Maybe I think you can see it better on the yellow one second. Yellow. These are vintage Fiesta wear. Um, and they say genuine Fiesta on the back. These are not the ones that say lead free. They do say HLO, which I believe is Homer Laughlin organization or something like that. Um, these were purchased at thrift stores. And so I um, left the price tags on so that you could see them. You know, these price tags were $2. It says Fia Blue Fiesta Saucer. Um, this one is also $2 and this one is also $2, $2 each. What, who would buy these? Well, you know, <laughs> Someone is going off to college and they go to a thrift store and they want to like have their kitchen colorful or have their kitchen fun. And they buy um, plates that remind them of grandma's. And so why is that a problem? Well, if you've got someone who's 18, 19 or 20 setting up their kitchen for the first time in their life and they're gonna buy these fun, inexpensive vintage plates, they aren't necessarily gonna know about the potential for lead contamination in these plates. And some people might argue, well, how do you know this particular plate is leaching or this one or this one? I haven't done a leach test on it. And I think, you know, we have to stick with the principle of first do no harm. When things are high lead and vintage, you're better to presume that they're likely leaching and, and not use them until you can prove that they're not leaching because the damage is, are, is rep irreparable. And the symptoms in adults of early childhood lead exposure and adult exposure are not fun at all. I live with them every day with my children. And the other thing to know is that um, we're talking about in the beginning of this about um, young people starting a kitchen, we're talking about young people of reproductive age. And one of the primary impacts of low level chronic lead exposure, like one might get from their dishes, one might be expected to get from their dishes. And you can even get low, um, you can get higher le level chronic lead exposure from dishes, depending on the dish uh, lead content. Anyway, that exposure can significantly increase a woman's risk for miscarriage and other infertility complications. So, you know, why would you want a child or a young adult to eat off these? So I'm gonna close out by showing you this one tested positive using XRF technology for 295,000 parts per million lead and the amount of lead that's considered unsafe in an item intended for use by children and the paint glazer coating is anything 90 parts per million or higher. And that's today's modern re regulatory standard. Dishes aren't uh, intended to be used by children. This one was over 563,000 parts per million lead. Again, when it's 90 parts per million, that's a hazard. And this one was over 280,000 parts per million lead. So please don't eat off of vintage dishware. That's, that's all. Let's Thank you.